Hi, thanks for joining us at the Natural Lifestyle Show. My name is Angel. And I'm Billy, and we have Baby. Say hi. Hi. And today we're doing our chit chat. Chit 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 chit. And we hope that you are doing well. We, especially with all this algae and uh, pollen and everything going on. Yeah, a lot of people are having some allergies, but um, we're just enjoying this beautiful day, and we're loving it. We have a lot of sunshine here today. <laughs> and, and bright blue skies. <laughs> yes, bright blue skies with puffy clouds, and we're mm -hmm. loving it. Um, we were thinking about the beach earlier today. I think this beautiful weather's got us thinking about, you know, vacation and stuff like that. And probably you too. <laughs> yeah, and planning on planting our garden. Um, we have a friend on YouTube that is going to be sending us some of our heirloom seeds to plant. Um, gardening girl yeah gardening girl if you're watching this we really appreciate it and we're going to be thank you yes thank you so much and we're going to be um you know planting some additional seeds as well so when we start doing that in a week or two we'll have you along that's right just tag along when we plant and show you how it grows and our harvest and everything and um also we're going to plant those some herbs as we had mentioned mm -hmm. got to have herbs yes so we've got a question today Really? Yes, we do. And if you have questions ever for us, just leave them. You can e go to our website and email us. We have a contact page there. So if you ever need to get in touch with us for any reason, please just go there and email us. Or you can please. leave it, Yeah, mm -hmm. or you can leave it in comments, you know, on any of our videos, this video. Mm -hmm. And we'll use it for next week because we try to cover all the questions. If by chance we have not covered your question that you've asked us, please re-ask it. That's right. We, yeah. you know... We apologize. We do. But this is a really good question today that someone on our group Living the Natural Life asked. They're all good questions. Yeah, they are all good questions. So if you want to join us in Living the Natural Life, there's a link below this video. It's our Facebook group. Still and there. Yeah. <laughs> and we, you know, we're getting new members a lot and we appreciate and, and really just um, we're grateful for every single one because we're a community of people that are... Mm -hmm discussing how to live as natural as possible and, and non-toxic get a lot of tips yep really enjoying it really so this is the question without further ado da, da, da. what are the top five things you would encourage new, a newbie to eliminate or add to the begin you know add to their lifestyle when they're in the beginning of this lifestyle wow that's a good question it is it's a very good question and you know what and to be honest uh, we could probably cover five things, but there's probably a whole lot more we could put in there. Number one, we've both talked about this today. Number one is, if, you know, we could go back and do this all over again. These are things that we would do. Mm -hmm. you know, well, we would plan on doing it. Yeah, because we, learn, we learned as we go, but now we know in importance what, what we would do first. Right. Number one is we would go ahead and eliminate all genetically modified foods from our mm -hmm. diet. Um, we actually have a video coming up probably next week about this subject because genetically modified foods have never been proven safe and as a matter of fact a lot of independent studies and a lot of just you know uh, evidence have proven them not to be safe so in my opinion and in our family's opinion we choose not to eat them. Correct. Yeah so number one we would eliminate all GMOs from our diet. And you know some countries even label Stuff that's genetically hey. modified, yeah. but we don't do that here in America as of hey. right now. Hey. Yeah, which we know that people from all over the world, you know, watch these videos. So yep. in every country, there's probably a different, you know, um, label, not label. Some countries mm -hmm. don't let them allow them at all. Yeah. Um, but that's number one. We would just not eat the GMOs. Number two, I would say to include as many nutrient dense foods in your diet as you can that are plant based. Um, that's what I would do. Um, especially a lot of fresh um, raw fruits and vegetables, mm -hmm. smoothies and juices are really good mm -hmm. options, aren't they, Eliana? And the thing with that is, I know that it could be hard to uh, start doing that like every day, but um, a good thing to do is to, you know, in add to, you know, like do it this day, then, you know, maybe the following week or so, add another day, and just until you can do it. Yeah, all seven like days. you could just start, like, by having a smoothie for breakfast every day. Mm -hmm. Like, say, hey, this week I'm going to start having a smoothie for breakfast every day. Mm -hmm. And then if you don't want to juice every day, maybe the following week you say, hey, I'll juice two or three times a week. Mm -hmm. and just, you know, just add it in because as you add in the good stuff, you're not going to have room for the bad stuff. Correct. Yep. And eventually you're going to see all the bad stuff go away. You won't even find it in your house. <laughs> Number three, I would start evaluating all of cleaning supplies mm -hmm. because 
that's one of the things in the very beginning that really got to me is the smells of the cleaning supplies, like the bleach and the really harsh chemicals. I could not tolerate it at all, so we found natural options for it. And the thing with these natural options, they are kids safe. <laughs> yeah, they are, which, you know, some things, even if they are natural, you don't want to be like drinking a day yeah, on and stuff like that. that. Like, you know, essential oils and things like that. that that are good options you do want to keep away from children correct but um yeah we have a lot of videos that deal with like cleaning stuff we make our own wipes we make our own cleaning spray and we're going to be um, sharing even more information about all the natural things we do because every single way that we clean we do it a natural way yep and the thing about it it's environmental friendly yep it sure is um number four i would evaluate all of my personal care um you know products. products and you know go through those because anything you put on your body can end up in your body mm -hmm. which can you know be toxin so you know there's there's a good option for everything like washing your hair there's some there's some good shampoos that are Correct. low in toxicity you can get one at Trader Joe's yeah that that's you know pretty good or you could use like baking soda and vinegar Correct. or you know dehydrate some yucca root and use that yeah there's lots of natural ways to do it yes there is and like with cleansers some people actually i, I like to use a mud cleanser yes, sure. uh -oh. some people actually use like coconut oil just to clean with the coconut oil um as far as lotion we like to use coconut oil shea butter stuff like that for lotion so you know anything castor oil, castor oil is a really good one so there's a natural solution for every personal care need that you have. That's correct. So personal care. And watch our videos and if we don't have it and you got a, a one that, you know, something you come up with we didn't cover, let us know. We'll let you, we'll do a video on it. And number five, um, I would say to make sure that you have the tools that you need to, for this lifestyle. You know, you're going to have to do it slowly because it could be expensive. Mm -hmm. But as, as, as best as you can, you know, you could get like the best juicers that you can because you can get some that are not so expensive. Correct. And, you know, any juicer is better than no juicer. And we went through, I mean, I couldn't tell you how many blenders yeah. before we come to some good ones. We have, we have a Vitamix and a Blendtec now, which are two of the very best ones for smoothies, mm -hmm. um, banana ice cream, all that kind of jazz that you want to be able to make with this healthy uh, lifestyle. But if you cannot afford those yet, a Ninja Blender, which you can get for around $50, now we we or less. yeah we would go through like one or two a year because they would the motor would eventually blow up with all the use that we did with it, mm -hmm. but it works very well. Yes, it does. So I mean, if you can't afford something really like three fifty to five six hundred dollars, mm -hmm. get two fifty dollar Ninja blenders a year, and they're not going to work as good as a Vitamix or Blendtec, but they'll work a whole lot better than the other kinds. Yeah, we found that out the hard way. Yeah, and you can go to our website and which is in front of me here and we have a link on our one-stop shop page to get in a Vitamix and you can go there and you can get a reconditioned Vitamix for about 350 and if you use our link you can get free shipping mm -hmm. so I mean if you have that much money right now to do so you know you can go get a Vitamix for a pretty good deal like that as far as um, tools you need for your personal care items and things like that a lot of times you'll just buy as you go along but we have a link also on our page to Mountain Rose Herbs, which is a really good place to get like... Um, real good. Real friendly people too. You can get Castel Soap, um, which is a really natural soap. You can get essential oils there. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can just get all kinds of really natural stuff and make your own things or, you know. So, I mean, the, just to build up your supply of, of um, tools that you're going to need for the lifestyle. That Another thing you need for the lifestyle, which goes into this, is a support group. Yep, you know? it's good to have support. And we have a uh, Facebook group that you can go to, and we we all support each other. And questions are asked and answered there, and it's very good. Yeah, we really appreciate that, and we encourage you to come join because he's right. You do need a lot of support because this this journey is when you start it. You know, it, it's impossible to learn everything at once and there's Correct. so much to learn so you know a lot of times you learn just a little, little bit at a time and mm -hmm. and you know learn from each other and a lot of people in your everyday life probably may not understand why 
Correct. You want to live this way, and so it's good to to go to people that have a shared interest and a, you know shared goals as you. So we really encourage you to come join us, and you know we'll we'll answer any questions we can and and support you you know in your journey of this you know learning to live a natural life. Yeah, everybody in the group would. That's right, because it's a bunch of nice folks. That's right. <laughs> And we're so glad you joined us for today's chit chat. And like I said, if you have any questions for next week, leave it below. And we hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful week. And we will see you very soon. Thank you for joining us. Bye. Bye.